My name is Marty Jamarino. I'm the manager of vendor reviews for Gartner Digital Markets, and I will refer to uh, that as GDM on occasion during this presentation, just in case you want to know what I mean by that. Uh, hello again to some of you who I may have connected with before, either during the launch review or review recruitment campaign through RAS, or via our past two webinars, How to Collect Software Reviews with Gartner Digital Markets, and 10 Easy Ways to Collect More Online Reviews, which are both available to view on the Capterra YouTube page. Today I'm excited to build on those review foundations and share with you how you can get more business buzz by leveraging those reviews. If you spend time recruiting them, you might as well let them do uh, a lot of the work when it comes to your marketing and sales efforts. Please, please, please do submit questions throughout the presentation as we will address them at the end. Also, we are recording this webinar and we'll email it out to all registrants later this week so you can view the session again, share it with any colleagues, etc. As always, your account managers uh, are here to help. You have a dedicated RPM if you are listed on the GEM network and a dedicated client success representative if you are a client of ours. We are trained to help you boost reviews and can give you personalized recommendations and support at any time, so please feel free to leverage our help when you are ready. So moving forward, here's a look at the agenda for our webinar today. It should take about an hour, maybe 45 minutes. If you need to jump off again, we will be sending out the full recording. So please don't feel like you have to stick around for the whole time, but we would love it if you did. So before we jump into everything, let's get started with a quick overview of GDM. The GDM network is made up of three of the top software comparison websites, trusted by software buyers to help them find the best products that meet their needs. These are Captera, Software Advice, and GetApp. In December of 2016, we started sharing reviews across the three sites. That means that each review you collect on any GDM site can get up to three times the exposure to software buyers searching on any of our sites, making us the largest network of uh, software reviews on the Internet. Across our digital markets, we receive over 5 million monthly visitors, have over 200,000 software ratings and reviews, and have over 30,000 software vendors listed. Uh, we take review quality very seriously here at Gartner Digital Markets. We have clear review submission guidelines, a zero tolerance policy towards reviews not submitted by a verified user. And we have a team that does validate each review. So if they don't make it through our rigorous QA process, they're not getting posted on our site. And I like to make that a big sticking point for all vendors I talk to. So you feel very comfortable knowing that we are about the quality of reviews, not just the quantity of reviews. Uh, as you probably already know, reviews do play a role in the software research reports. I'll talk about that a little bit later. What you release across all three sites, uh, and I will continue to hammer home the idea that you should aim to collect reviews often to increase your chances of qualifying for these various reports and increasing your standing across all of them. Um, this is the top 20 report, category leaders, front runners quadrant. These are branded and hosted on all three uh, of our individual network sites, but the reviews that are shared across the entire network are pulled uh, from all three sites when each one of our properties is putting together these reports. So by recruiting reviews to GetApp, you are going to impact the standing you have in the Capterra Top 20 report for whatever category or market you're in. So now we can talk through um, that reviews really do matter, impact your standing, um, but I want to get across they also impact the purchasing behavior of software buyers. Whether you're new to reviews or a seasoned vet, I always like to take some time to reinforce that um, point that they do matter by showing some data. Um, as you can see here, reviews have a distinct impact in the purchasing experience that someone has. They walk themselves through the process on our site, looking at profiles. Um, if they come across a profile that doesn't have reviews, it does negatively impact their user experience and doesn't make people too great. I'm not gonna read through all of these, but I wanna highlight um, that 92% of consumers now read online reviews when researching products. Um, when I've spoke to a lot of you guys on the phone who have had um, interactions with me launching a campaign, I probably mentioned the idea of um, how we are more or less a Yelp or software, TripAdvisor, Amazon, something along those lines, uh, because I want to hammer home that this is uh, something that has become omnipresent in the internet experience uh, that we have these days. Uh, people want to read reviews and see that the crowd, so to speak, has validated the experience um, and the positive impact that a product can bring to them. So again, do not think that reviews are just uh, meant to help you increase visibility or increase your ranking in a report, which it absolutely does. At the end of the day, we're here to serve and better serve software buyers who are looking for a good product that meets their, meets their needs. 
and the best way for you guys to show that to those um, researchers is through these reviews. One example I like to bring up uh, when it comes to the impact of reviews beyond just reports and visibility um, is with a client of ours, uh, Itemize, who leveraged our reviews as a service program, which I'll talk about a little later on, and ended up recruiting more than 160 reviews back in October of 2016. And this influx of reviews uh, resulted in such an increase in their visibility and traffic to the page that they ended up netting more than $15,000 in revenue just thanks to inbound traffic that resulted um, in new clients that had visited their profile page, really come there because of the volume of reviews, read through all the information, and then ended up purchasing the, pro purchasing the product. So uh, we love hearing feedback like that. If you have a similar story, please let us know. Um, but I just wanted to put that in real world context that by having you know five reviews or more, you're absolutely going to be positively differentiating yourself from your competitors that have zero, and I'll get into more details about what that really means next. Uh, before I dive into uh, reviews a little bit further when it comes to recruiting them, leveraging them, I want to share an exciting milestone we just hit, which is 200,000 shared reviews across the GDM network, I think through the hard work of vendors like you and your customers. This makes GDM officially the largest software reviews site and network, and it makes it the go-to resource for buyers to find valuable feedback from other software buyers as they search for software. Um, here are a few of the biggest takeaways based on the content of all these reviews. Um, as you can see, the reviews have become a big initiative recently. Uh, over a quarter of all reviews in our network have been published in 2017 alone. Um, and that is also backed by the fact that recency impacts the experience someone has with a review, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Um, reviews absolutely impact the uh, traffic and leads that you receive. If you are a client on Capterra, um, you would receive 75% more leads just by having software reviews um, appear. Additionally, even if you're not um, someone who has a uh, client relationship with us, you would see 67% more traffic by having reviews rather than not having any. Um, for those of you who don't know, on the Capture website, if you don't have reviews, um, we auto-sort by that total number for our basic listings. And if you have a product that starts with the letter Z, uh, we list all of our profiles with no reviews in alphabetical order and descending um, order, so you'd be at the very bottom of the directory. So just by recruiting one review, you'd move uh, higher up the page. Additionally, um, we found that the overall rating on Capterra is an impressive 4.5. A lot of vendors I talk to are hesitant about recruiting reviews. They're all afraid of that phantom uh, user that's going to leave a one-star review and really torpedo your product. But I will say you'll be happily surprised by the number of people who just want to sing your praises um, and talk through how happy they are and maybe leave some constructive criticism about what they think you can improve. But you guys are all in business and doing well for a reason, and these people um, you know, want to be the proof of that. And lastly, you guys are killing it at customer service. You know, from these reviews and ratings, we were very impressed by all of your commitment to customer support, including the um, service you guys give out and just how quickly you're able to respond, which is extremely important these days. People want to have an immediate response, and you're able to give that to them, which uh, they highly appreciate. So take a second, pat yourself on the back, uh, high-five yourself, your colleague next to you. You guys are doing well on that, uh, and please do keep it up. Lastly, just as a little bit of information about these reviews, we took a look at the audiences reading the reviews to learn more about the buyers. Um, a few interesting, interesting insights, excuse me, we learned about the users who are leaving reviews um, is 66% were left by people that uh, had used the product for longer than a year. Uh, if you've seen our infographic about this, that's actually more than the number of people that brush their teeth uh, in a given uh, day, I think it was, maybe week. <laughs> um, so uh, that's a fun fact for you to have for the rest of your day. Um, people really do use these products a lot. Um, three, or three out of four reviewers use the product every day. Over half of them are based in the U.S., Canada, U.K., and India. Um, and then 60% of those reviewers work at a small business with, with less than 50 employees, um, which I think is really telling because it does show that a lot of the people that are coming to these uh, profile pages and our site and network to get a better understanding of the products available to them and check in and see what um, the crowd so to speak, thinks of the product, uh, are coming from smaller, newer businesses. You know, they're trying to scale, they're trying to improve their product um, and their business by leveraging the service and platform you guys have. And they want to make sure that they're following industry trends, that they're leaving feedback um, to help you guys improve, and making sure that they're doing everything right. So just keep that in mind. Um, the people who lead these reviews um, and who are looking at these reviews are definitely the stakeholders that you should be trying to respond to 
and um, appeal to from our profiles. Uh, next, I am going to uh, talk through how to leverage your reviews, but before I do, I wanted to give a quick reminder of easy ways to continually collect reviews if you've not done so recently. Um, remember, you can always request reviews at any time within the Captera vendor portal. Um, when you are in your portal, you have access to a customer review form link that you can send to clients, um, a link that you can send in an email uh, that has a form link already populated. And lastly, you do have, if you have one review or more, you have access to our review badge, um, which is coded to match the overall review score that you have and link back to your CapTara profile. Um, and it's a great piece to add to your marketing materials, website, and I'll talk about that a little bit more. Um, we make it really easy to manage and directly respond to your reviews posted across the Gartner Digital Markets Network. And again, I'll discuss that a little bit um, moving forward. The flagship program that we have um, to help you recruit reviews, which I will highlight and um, reinforce continuously, which is completely free, uh, called Reviews as a Service, or RAS, as I called it earlier. Um, it's the easiest way that you can get more reviews and boost your online reputation, especially if it's been a while since you ran a campaign to recruit reviews. Um, just leverage RAS. It's highly successful. It's helped more than 1,000 vendors recruit tens of thousands of reviews in less than one year of being operational. Um, it started off as a beta test for us to see if vendors would uh, appreciate the opportunity to collaborate with our team of experts to run email campaigns. Um, and it's taken off like a rocket ship. We've scaled it up. We've got a whole team dedicated to helping you guys get your uh, campaign started. An email campaign team is there to help you run it. Um, we really do, you know, all the heavy lifting across the way. Um, in short, uh, for those of you that don't know, all we do through this program uh, is send co-branded review recruitment email to users of your choice. For the time being, we are offering to pay for and distribute gift cards to at least the first 10 reviewers from your campaign. We understand there are definitely altruistic people out there that will leave a review out of the goodness of their heart, but a lot of users want to see some uh, reward for the time spent on leaving a review, which in all honesty is about four or five minutes maybe. Uh, our form is not writing the next great American novel. It's pretty short and sweet, but we still want to make sure that they feel valued for taking the time out of their day to leave a review of your product. So. We're happy to talk through the details of that if you like. The baseline is $10 to the first 10 reviewers, um, but we do sometimes offer a little bit more, and we can talk through that if you connect with someone on the RPM team. Uh, to help you launch that campaign, when I say RPM, that's a reviews program manager. Uh, they're dedicated to providing a helping hand throughout the process, again, at no cost whatsoever. If you decide that the RAS program is not a fit for you, these guys are also happy to talk you through other ways we can recruit reviews outside of our RAS program. They honestly can be considered your dedicated review recruitment consultants. And if you'd like to learn more, again, please contact us. RPM at CapTerra.com is our group email, and we'll follow up uh, and help you out with whatever questions, concerns, comments you have. We're just here to help you guys and be an asset and a tool to prove to you, um, you know, just how committed we are to making your review recruitment campaigns a success. Now, next up, I'm going to talk to you about how we can uh, take control of the reviews and why that's a, a really key point in developing and maintaining a strong, re strong brand reputation. So uh, it's up to you to take control of your online reputation. Just collecting reviews really isn't enough. You need to feel empowered to own your reviews and leverage them regularly to boost brand impact. So here are a few reasons. Users really do trust reviews. Um, they see them as, as equally valuable or more valuable than personal recommendations. Uh, people want to see a high quantity of quality reviews. Um, people these days, when they see an outlier review, whether it's positive or negative, it doesn't match um, with what they see across the board. So they'll kind of um, subconsciously remove that from their process of thinking through whether or not they want to invest in your product. So making sure that it, you know, the outlier is um, actually the norm, right? Say you have some four negative reviews and one positive review, but that positive review is actually what people usually think about you, and these four were just disgruntled clients. Um, it's up to you to go out there, either let them be RAS or your own method, to get more reviews that show that five-star re review is actually the norm um, rather than the outlier. Additionally, um, software reviews directly impact your ability to make the cut, uh, the shortlist, I should speak, and make a cut when it comes to someone putting together their products that they want to uh, really have a demo with or a free trial with to determine whether or not that's going to meet their needs. 
Um, and then, as I mentioned, recency earlier on is so critical when it comes to your review recruitment um, and your brand uh, reputation. Just by recruiting 100 reviews back in 2014, uh, as great as that is and sounds, um, it actually doesn't really help you much today. For the most part, you've done a lot of research, uh, the average software buyer looks at reviews only if they are within six to eight months of age um, from the date that they were left. So if you're looking at reviews that are over eight months old, um, they're not going to include that in the purchasing process. So what you've done in the past is great, but I want to reinforce that we're here to help you build off that uh, and continue to get those fresh uh, reviews in because it's going to be really important when it comes to the buying uh, process for any software buyer out there. Now here are the uh, four keys to keep in mind as you work on your review strategy and build your brand through reviews and really leverage reviews to drive home you know, how much of a leader you are in the industry and how helpful you can be for a software buyer. Uh, those four points are quantity, quality, consistency, and recency. So what does that all mean? Well, businesses with a strong number of total reviews stand out, but clients, as I mentioned, look beyond the peer review quantity when assessing their software options. Uh, users these days look at the quality of the reviews for helpful feedback, pay attention to the average star rating, see how the majority of your clients rate the service, and you know they understand just how skewed something can look and if they uh, if, if you are trying to you know pad the numbers so to speak and not letting organic reviews come through. Um, finally it's important to collect new reviews frequently and show consistency with your rating over time as I mentioned. Um, clients really do feel assured that they will have a similar experience to when using your software if they see a lot of reviews that back that up and again reinforce that that is the consistent experience for the majority of software users. Um, now many businesses kind of get a bit complacent when it comes to review recruit recruitment once you have a decent base of reviews as I mentioned but constant collection is key to standing out. Uh, it's one of the main factors that people scan for when they're looking at reviews. Uh, to take this out of the software world, if you're looking to go to a restaurant for dinner on Friday night and you find a place that has a thousand reviews, but all of them are from 2010 to 2013, uh, I am not convinced you would leverage those in your uh, decision to take you know, your friend out for a date that night or whatever it might be. Um, overall, people get that there are a lot of changes, not just in the restaurant industry, but especially in software. Uh, whether it's a year, six months, what have you, um, a lot changes. Whether it's a new chef comes into a restaurant or you overhaul the UX of your software, uh, people know just how important um, a recent review can be. Uh, it might be hard to believe, but we actually did some digging and Bright Local found that a whopping 73% of consumers think reviews over the three months are no longer relevant. So as I mentioned, you know, our baseline is trying to keep things within six to eight months, but um, there are other studies out there that say that timeline is even shorter. So Long story short, uh, more recent reviews, the better. Um, another key reasons I want to talk through why recency matters um, include building trust. It's one of the first things that consumers do in researching products is seeking out reviews. Again, they view those as social proof of the product being trusted by others. Uh, recency, as I mentioned, it shows um, relevance. After finding your product review, buyers will look through the data, focus on the most recent reviews first. And again, disregard anything that's older than that six to eight month um, date range and potentially even shorter if you look at that bright local survey. Thirdly, um, fresh reviews make the job easier for a software buyer who's doing the research. Um, at the end of the day, we all want to save time, be more efficient with our work, um, and reviews are a great, great way to tackle the sometimes daunting and time consuming task of software research for a buyer who's trying to find an option that meets their needs. Um, again, not surprisingly, most consumers don't have the time to read through every review when researching options, so they often only read up to six before forming an opinion. So um, when they come to your page and all your reviews are outdated or you don't have a good um, sample size of reviews, you can immediately be um, you know, off the short list before you be a chance to uh, be added to it. So by giving yourself that um, competitive advantage of recruiting recent reviews, you'll have a better shot of being added there. Um, another point here. Reviews help discoverability. Um, this is something I don't think a lot of people understand, but reviews actually help your chances for being discovered by potential new clients who are doing research for software. Um, client feedback is user-generated content. It's great material for SEO, search engine optimization, and uh, it helps you build a strong reputation for your business online. The more reviews you collect, the more links and SEO juice you create for your company, and recent comment, excuse me, recent content is always a favorite of search engines. 
Lastly here, just want to highlight and review our powerful branding opportunities. It's really a free advertisement for your product. Um, they really can help your marketing efforts and should be included on your website, blog, email. Um, we can talk through opportunities there in a little bit. If you have not already done so, please be sure to grab reviews badges from across the uh, GDM network and add them to your website to make it easy for potential new clients to see the overall score, visit your profile, and for your current clients to share their feedback with other software buyers. So one of the uh, common mistakes that many businesses make when it comes to reviews is simply collecting them but not taking time to reply to them. And if you don't have a uh, review response as part of your business process, you're missing out as an opportunity to leverage reviews as an opportunity to showcase your customer support and improve your branding. It really highlights you and separates you, really differentiates you from your competition as a brand who cares and a brand who is listening um, and just isn't you know, asking for reviews to increase your standing, but you're asking for reviews to increase your products and make changes to your offerings. Um, honestly, it's not much. It's just a quick reply to say thank you to your reviewer you know, say that you really do appreciate their feedback and it convey appreciation um, not only to the person who left it, but to people who are reading through those reviews. It really can be a simple saying thank you. Um, you can focus on a favorite part of their review. Most people are used to being responded to very quickly in today's 24-7 world, whether it's an email, text, phone call, etc. Um, and the same goes for responses here. So please aim to reply as quickly as you can. Ideally, within one or two business days um, would be preferred. This is also a great chance to um, showcase your brand, add some person personality to your online profile. And responding to reviews shows your people behind your brand. It can um, use it as an opportunity to develop your messaging, showcase that support, and really show that you care about good reviews, uh, but also the less than stellar reviews, the negative reviews, the uh, ones that are the boogeyman in every software vendor's closet, um, the one that everyone doesn't want to see come to light. But this is actually a chance to politely acknowledge issues and offer up next actions that you're taking to address that negative review. Uh, for example, if you had someone leave a review, you can say, hey, it's great, you mentioned um, you would like us to expand on feature XYZ to make it more helpful. Um, we've heard you, know, we've heard you uh, and we are looking into ways we can enhance our features to address X, Y, or Z. So just by saying that you hear them, uh, that's what a lot of people just want you to say and that you're looking into how you can improve the product to meet their needs. Additionally, if there is someone who leaves a negative review um, and you say, oh my gosh, we already offer product or feature X, you can reach out to that user and let them know, hey, yeah, thanks for leaving a review. Uh, probably you weren't happy with feature X, but we actually have this all ready you know, in the software. And it might just be a situation of a confused user, um, which has happened more than once. And if they ever feel like coming back to our site to update the review, as long as they email our review team from the address they left the uh, review at, they're happy to update it. So again, opportunity for you to mitigate any negative um, feedback and use that as a springboard to showcase your customer support and improve the product. Additionally, ensuring that the user experience for your clients is positive and you're addressing any confusion or uh, issues like that. Again, responding to reviews can do all that for you. When it comes to doing so within the Captera portal, responding is very simplistic. You just log in. Um, if you don't have your credentials, just let us know. We can send you a reset. Um, under the Reviews tab, you can go to the uh, details of the review. And then on the uh, far right side, you can click in. And once you're in the details, you can respond via the widget on the top right hand side. Uh, review response. Again, there, anything you pub, uh, type will appear publicly. And if you do have the um, email address of the user from your CRM system, which you probably will, um, you can email them externally to also address the issue in a one-on-one -on -one fashion. But I would highly recommend doing both because, again, showing that response publicly will help you uh, show off just how much you care about responding to your users and ensuring they're having a good experience, which, again, allows you to leverage these reviews to increase your brand. Now, when it comes to... Captera and Software Advice and GetApp, um, we have made sure that reviews allow you to stand out in directories. Um, as mentioned earlier, uh, we know that reviews positively impact traffic to profiles 67% more, leads for our clients 75% more. So we sort all basic profiles across Gartner Digital Markets in descending order by the total number of reviews. Um, this is to ensure that the profiles that are popping up first for our site visitors 
um, are going to be giving them the best experience possible because we know a profile with no reviews isn't exactly going to um, have the same impact on a software buyer as a profile that might have, you know, 10 reviews, 5 reviews, 8 reviews. Um, so you're more likely to be seen by buyers scanning a directory if you have more reviews since that will move you closer to the top. Um, lastly, I wanted to uh, make sure that you knew that we added filtering to the Captera directory. So now when buyers are on our directory page, they're able to sort by those with the most reviews um, or the highest rated software in the directory. Um, Captera, software that I can get at will also allow you to sort by the average rating. So we're trying to give as much control as possible to our uh, software buyers as they visit these sites to sort products however they deem fit. We absolutely have our default sorting, but we want to make sure they feel very empowered to look through the list as they feel um, you know, meets their purchasing um, needs. Again, another reason to prioritize review collection. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we do um, like to get vendors to leverage the badges once you guys have at least one review. Um, you can get badges for Captera, Software Advice, and GetApp. Uh, you can easily find your badge for Captera within the vendor portal. Again, if you just go to that Reviews tab, click on the subheader of uh, Review Badge. Um, that link will take you to the page where you can simply copy the code to the badge. And as I mentioned earlier, that badge aggregates your overall score and then does link back to your profile. So if anyone wants to read the primary source, they can. Now, as I mentioned earlier, um, reviews allow you to impact your placement and um, potential improvement in our flagship pieces of content across the GDM network. Um, these branded reports highlight top vendors for a variety of achievements. Each report includes reviews as a part of their process, though the reports vary in methodology. I've gotten that question a lot. Um, we do keep these separate because they all are slightly different, um, but they all leverage the same base of reviews when determining the total um, or the final content, I should say. Um, reviews in this case will help you generate buzz by being included in these reports um, because our marketing teams work to promote each piece across relevant industry publications and top media outlets. As you can see from these badges, our top reports are Captera's top 20, uh, GetApp's category leaders, and Software Advice's front runners quadrant. Um, what I recommend uh, for people who have not been including these before is just keep an eye out for an email announce announcement from us when a directory is a focus for an upcoming report. Uh, we like to make sure vendors are aware of that just so you guys can recruit some new reviews, ensure everything is uh, up to date in your portal, and just set yourself up for the uh, best chance of success to be included. Uh, and earn your award badge. The badges that we give out are a great way to build trust and grab buyer attention. Um, it allows you to um, add this collateral to your website, marketing materials, event uh, materials, share it on social media, and um, it allows you to um, really separate yourself from the field. You'll be directly contacted via email if you do place in one of these reports, and you can always go to each site and look at the reports uh, and the categories to see who was previously won. I am going to briefly go into each one next. I'm not going to spend too much time here, uh, but I want to make sure you guys have a good idea of these opportunities. So with Captera's top 20 report, we created that to help narrow down the software search and make it easier for buyers um, in the research process. These are infographics that vendors um, can be featured in based on the directory. Um, the main subset of this is most popular, most affordable, and most user-friendly. We do contact each winner. Um, when a new or refresh infographic is published throughout the year, and you will receive a media kit to promote the accomplishment. This includes the badge, the link to the infographic, etc. When it comes to GetApp, um, we release the category leaders ranking report quarterly as a way to highlight the leading software in each market. Each vendor is scored using reviews, integrations, mobile app availability, media presence, and presence, excuse me, and security. Uh, once you qualify, again, you receive a media kit with instructions on how to promote the badge embed your ranking chart, and share the news of your achievement. The most um, recent addition to our content is the Frontrunners Quadrant. Frontrunners is a 100% data-driven assessment of the uh, capable and valuable products for small businesses, which is published on Software Advice's website, um, and it's based on Gartner methodology. Scores are largely based on user reviews of software. Um, to qualify for consideration in Frontrunners, a product must have a minimum number of unique user-submitted reviews 
on the uh, GDM network. This is uh, usually between 10 and 20 unique reviews depending on the market. Um, this report is a really fantastic one to be a part of. Um, all of them are, but FRQ um, really gives you a humongous range of assets to use when it comes to promotion, badges, quadrant report, PR checklist, individualized scorecard, um, availability to download a promotion hub if you're including in the report, etc. Um, a variety of categories already have been included in the FRQ report to date. Uh, we have about four categories go up each month, and if you want to learn more, um, you can email us at rpm at capterra.com or simply go to Software Advice's site um, and check it out. They host them all there. So when it comes to recruiting reviews, you guys now have a good idea about that. Responding to reviews, check that off the list. Um, but reports those reviews are included in. You're all experts at this point. So what else can you do to showcase them? Uh, well, the easiest way to start to really leverage the reviews is to add reviews to your website. Just make sure they're easily found by site visitors. I know that sounds simplistic, but you'd be surprised how many vendors spend time recruiting reviews and they just never do anything but leave it on the profile. We highly recommend you leverage these. Please do not feel afraid to leverage snippets, the whole review, whatever. Um, you can place your review badge in quotes and prominent sections um, above the fold, quote unquote, so to speak, on your website. Um, that's just going to give you more eyeballs to the review if you bury it um, below the lead using old media terms here. Um, you won't have an opportunity for a lot of people to read the quote that you found to be so impactful. You moved it from your profile to your site. Um, it's the best practice to add your review content to multiple pages of your site. You never know if someone's going to skip over your home page, go to the About Us page, um, the Why Us page, wherever it might be. Uh, and if you have the bandwidth, I highly recommend dedicating a full page to your client testimonials and reviews, which I'll talk about later. Next, uh, beyond putting content on your site, I uh, highly recommend promoting review badges and earned rewards online, in marketing materials, on the website, in your email signature, in newsletters, honestly, at every event as well. Um, it's uh, something that can really separate you from the crowd if you're at an event with other software vendors and you have your booth set up and you can put that, um, whether it's a framed version of the uh, badge or you know, a magnet you can stick on the top of it, whatever it might be. Um, I think that would definitely help you guys separate yourself from the crowd when it comes to leveraging these reviews and improving your branding. Uh, these badges can be found within the reviews tab of our vendor portal in Capterra. If you would like to receive one from Software Advice, let us know. Um, it's a bit more manual, but we can pull that together. Um, recently this year, we actually launched a new report that is really focused on reviews. Um, specifically, it's called Reviewer's Choice. And this badge is for select categories. Um, it features the top five scoring products in three categories of um, the review. So the overall scoring, the ease of use scoring, and then customer support. Uh, the top products in each category are displayed alphabetically in an infographic, and it's included in Software Advice's Buyer's Guide. If you haven't checked out this Buyer's Guide, I, uh, guide, I highly recommend doing so. Simply visit softwareadvice.com, go to any of the directories, and then when you click on that directory, there's a buyer's guide for you to read through. Um, it's a really helpful piece that a lot of software buyers visit when they're trying to figure out which type of software to purchase, and this reviewer's choice report will further um, help them when it comes to that process. Uh, another way to leverage these reviews is including them in your advertising efforts. Um, simply pull out a variety of quotes, tap what resonates with your audience, that could be internal or external, and then link back to your profile um, badge for more info if someone wants to see the primary resource. So for example, this Pulse Pilding uh, Success Time, uh, New York Times uh, quote, just imagine that is a quote about um, your software that's a very excited software buyer, and then right next to it, below that quote, you have the badge back to the Captera profile. So someone can say, okay, wow, you know, these guys really loved this product. I want to read more about it and make sure we're getting the primary uh, source here, and it's credible and they can go to the third-party site on Captera or Software Advice or GitHub, whatever it might be, and read through additional reviews. Um, and that third-party validation of your product's successes and position within the industry will only help you and provide that social proof for someone to uh, really invest their time and energy in your product. Uh, please, please, please do share recent reviews on social media as a part of your so uh, posting schedule. I know a lot of you guys out there, if you talk to your social media people or if you are the social media person, um, there's always a desire for high quality content and sharing out these badges and reviews and awards is a great way to um, show your current clients just how much of a leader you are in the industry and show potential new clients why you might be the best fit for them. We've included a couple of examples here. It really doesn't have to be anything too in depth. Just take a picture of the software, screen grab, highlight a quote, pull that out, 
hashtag it both in the industry, and then just let it go out. Um, it's one of those great opportunities to let the review do the work for you, and you just get the benefit from it existing. Another opportunity for reviews here um, is using them to create an opportunity for contests and building dedicated campaigns into your marketing calendar throughout the year to naturally add review collection um, as an annual process. It ensures the constant, constant stream of reviews, which again, as we mentioned, reviews recency matters, and then um, ensures you can consistently update your marketing materials to pull recent reviews. Um, remember, review collection can't just be done a few times a year. Recency is so important. Keep it fresh. Um, again, 73% of B2B buyers said that reviews need to be less than a year old. Uh, and make sure that you're building on your reputation. Uh, we just talked about that pull quote, but if you pull a quote that makes it out to be, you know, you're the best software vendor out there, someone goes to that profile and doesn't see that review until they're halfway down the page and it's two years old, that's going to remove a little bit of the authenticity and credibility of your claim. So just make sure you're consistently updating that information by adding a steady stream of reviews that you can pull from in that advertising. Lastly, you can use reviews to motivate your internal team. Uh, you can hold review and client testimonial brainstorm sessions internally or on a semi-regular basis. This allows you to get more perspective, generate new ideas, set expectations that reviews matter. Um, you'd be surprised how many pieces of content your team can come up with after reading through some of these reviews. And honestly, it just keeps the review collection top of mind for various members of your team. If you're on this call, obviously you have some interest in reviews, which I love. Um, but I understand that there's definitely, definitely colleagues out there and team members who probably aren't as gung-ho as you are when it comes to review collection. So by showing off these internally, not just externally, you're going to be able to create a lot of momentum in a positive way for your brand. So lastly here, I just want to go through some bonus tips. Uh, our first bonus tip is from Business App to join Capsera's pay-per-click program in December of 2016. With the help of review, they have seen an increase in high-quality leads. Notably, they won Review Madness in 2017, which is a tournament we host to help increase the total amount of reviews on the site and network. Um, this, uh, during this program, business apps motivated its internal teams to encourage customer feedback. They saw this annual review collection tournament um, as a great way to start to build their reviews as a fairly new vendor on our site. They recognize that reviews are a great, great way to build credibility and allow people to gain trust of their software and brand. Um, the tournament was an opportunity to empower their customer service team as well. They really did a great job of getting the internal buy-in to create the external success. Um, and it got the internal team very excited about review collection, so they made it into a contest. It built a lot of excitement and momentum to the team. And their strategy was really quite simple, but highly effective. They held an internal contest during each round to see who vendors brought in the most reviews. This allows for everyone at the company to work together to win the prize, and it also gained them hundreds of reviews in the process. Pretty much the biggest win-win you could ask for when it comes to review collection and team building. Um, when it comes to how they did it, the team simply started by mentioning a contest to customers, sending out the review form and email, including a link to leave a review in the email signature, all methods that we have talked through in this presentation, um, and this is one of those proofs in the pudding moments um, that absolutely has worked for them. By the end of the contest, they had hundreds of new reviews in about a month's time and saw a 37% increase in their click traffic as a client of ours. They were involved in the PPC program, and their lead quality increased. Um, they saw about a 30% increase in lead conversion. And performance wasn't the only improvement for the company. Um, honestly, business apps found that many customers appreciated and applauded their customer service. Uh, they were able to leverage the feedback as a co key company difference. Um, it just helped them competitively differentiate themselves from other vendors in their field, and they leveraged that in their marketing materials. On the product side, uh, the customer reviews allowed for them to see a pattern in some features and improvements and resolve these features in uh, future updates, as we talked about. Even though people are submitting four or five-star reviews, there's going to be little nuggets of information in there that you can uh, glean some product improvements, feature additions, et cetera, that you can add to really help you um, improve the product. For those of you that are interested, be on the lookout for more info about reviews and madness next spring. Uh, it's a pretty fun event, and the winner of the tournament gets a prize, uh, usually a PPC credit or something along those lines. Next, I'd like to highlight Touch Bistro. Um, Touch Bistro is a great success story when it comes to showing off reviews and also when it comes to the RAS campaign. Um, they ran a program, and it saw fantastic results with us through RAS 
52.3% open rate, 5.7% click-through rate, 9.2% conversion rate, and 55 new reviews. To take full advantage of the reviews they received, they sat down, brainstormed how they could showcase them, and they decided to host them on a testimonial page on their site. Um, they showed off what the customers thought of them, but didn't just show off five-star reviews, which I think is the best part. They showed off a lot of four, four-and-a-half-star reviews, which really does enhance the authenticity of the page. Um, if you go to a Amazon page, for example, for a product and only see five-star reviews, um, a red flag usually goes off in most um, uh, online consumers these days. So by touch beast are showing off that there was a gamut of um, feedback that people really didn't just love everything, but there was opportunity for them to improve, uh, improve the product, that's very human. Um, and that's something people want to see. So I thought that was pretty fantastic. I talked to their team about it. Um, a lot of prioritize leveraging reviews and using them for testimonials. And uh, they said that because they are able to share their successes, which helps them get more opportunities, which well, is something I hope every vendor understands, that reviews don't just make you look good. Um, these days, they can have a direct correlation and impact on your bottom line. And lastly, I'd like to highlight ProMap. Um, they do a great job of highlighting specific aspects of the reviews on Captera and GetApp on their website. Um, which a potential new client would appreciate as they're going through the research process and need one final push in the right direction before requesting their free trial or purchasing a product. Um, in short, please don't be afraid to get into the details and highlight your reviews. And uh, this is me giving you every um, opportunity and the right to humble brag about yourself. Show people why you're different. Show people that you care and that your users enjoy leveraging your product. Um, and don't be afraid to just take what we already have on your profile and show it off on your own website. So that's it. Thank you for taking the time to join today. Um, we hope you gained a lot of valuable information about reviews and feel inspired to uh, get to work collecting more and showing them off. As I mentioned earlier, we would love to help you get more. Um, if you are a client, please contact your client success representative. If you are a non-client vendor out there, please contact the review team, um, rpm at captera.com. We'll provide additional information in our webinar recap email along with the recording to this webinar uh, later on this week. I'm excited to address any questions you might have about reviews. Um, first, I'm going to get a long needed drink of water, let Carrie, who's sitting next to me, my colleague, pull together some questions, and we'll go from there. Um, so, first question is when it comes to SEO, how does this give, how do reviews give us SEO juice for our site? So, <clears throat> when it comes to what Google is looking for and other search engines when they're putting together rankings. <clears throat> they look for pieces of content and pages that address exactly what users want to see when they come somewhere. So because if you're a client, you have a direct link on that page, um, that's going to signal to Google, since people come to those pages and stick around for a while, if there's a lot of reviews. Um, they have a good experience of reading through them, but people don't bounce off that page. So having um, people come there, stay there, enjoy the information, read through it. It's going to send positive signals to Google. Um, SEO, as many of you already know, is more of an art than a science. Um, Google will never release their algorithm, but we do know that um, having, quote unquote, a um, good link repertoire uh, will help you guys out in that regard. And additionally, having positive brand signals being sent to Google will again help you out as well. Um, one question that came through was, how do I respond to reviews on software advice? Um, to clarify, with review responding, um, reviews that you respond to on Captera are only responded to on Captera. Uh, we are, I've heard this before, we understand it's a, a pain point and we're looking into it for the future. Um, but for right now, you need to respond to every review across all three websites. So for um, software advice, you can email reviews at softwareadvice.com. And then um, through GetApp, I believe it's the same as well. Uh, we'll include the email addresses in the email we send up later on. But uh, again, as long as there is a response somewhere, uh, the majority of our profiles appear very highly when people are searching around for your product. Um, so we'll probably come across one of them with a response. Best practice is to respond across all three, but I understand only have so many hours in a day. So knock it off on Captera, and then if you can get to the other two sites, um, if you want to respond there as well, I highly recommend it. Uh, can I get the deck as well as the recording? Absolutely. Yeah, we'll send that out as well um, so you guys can read through this at your leisure, look through the notes. Um, all of my you know, talk track here is included in the uh, notes for each slide. 
So hopefully that will help you guys when it comes to becoming experts on review recruitment and leveraging those reviews. Is there a way to do the request review campaigns without offering gift cards? We're offering something in exchange. Absolutely. Yeah, gift cards are not mandatory. Um, we understand that a lot of brands out there don't want to tie review to gift cards. Um, again, I will reiterate that the review uh, incentives we provide are not in exchange for a positive review or any type of review. It's simply for the act of leaving the review. So we make that very clear in the language and the email we send out. But if you want to run a um, RAS campaign through our program, have our team still do the heavy lifting when it comes to running that email campaign, we can do so and just simply remove the offer for the incentive. Um, so that way you guys can uh, still get the benefit of having our team do the uh, work and you still get the reviews without having to worry about the incentive aspect. Um, let's see, another one, <clears throat> how often do you recommend collecting your reviews for our profile? Um, as I mentioned, uh, review recency has become kind of a standard across the board when it comes to software products. Uh, again, six to eight months is kind of like the, uh, the edge of the cliff, so to speak. After that, reviews really fall off. What I like to uh, recommend to vendors is instead of doing bulk review campaigns at one point in time, I mean, if you haven't done it in a while, please start off with as many contacts as you possibly can. And then you build this into your onboarding process for new clients. Um, make it a, a reoccurring event, um, you know, for everyone as they come on board. You know, whether it's day 45, day 60, after they have their first um, good experience with customer support, whatever it might be. Just get one or two fresh reviews every week. Um, with the amount of clients you have, that might be, you know, a different type of goal. Uh, but still, just, just try to make it as consistent as possible because that will only help you when it comes to uh, persuading potential new clients to, uh, you know, pull the trigger, ask for a demo, request a free trial, et cetera. What are ways to educate our staff on why reviews matter and why should we focus on collecting them often? Uh, when it comes to educating your staff, first and foremost, I recommend watching this webinar. Um, share the recording with them. But seriously, uh, we do actually have a lot of uh, great materials. If you like, um, we actually have a piece that's all about getting your colleagues to buy into review recruitment, which we can share with you. Um, if you're interested, email rpm at capterra.com. Um, we can get that to you. Additionally, um, when it comes to collecting them regularly, it's one of those things where it's just become such a mainstay in the uh, iteration of the Internet that we're currently in. Um, and I don't think it's going away anytime soon. People want to see reviews. Uh, they want to read reviews. They want to see a lot of them. So, Please don't think that this is just kind of a one and done initiative. This has to be something you guys build into your client life cycle and just to your um, you know, mindset when it comes to being a company. Because as you can see from this presentation, reviews aren't just you know, something that someone can read at one given time. They're pieces of advertising. They're sales collateral. They're marketing collateral. They're um, you know, testimonials. It's, it's really so many different things, and it's all coming from this one little point. And um, all you have to do is just get clients to buy into leaving those, and that's what we're here to help with. Another question, um, how can we get our clients excited to leave a review? Um, you know, I would say for clients, there's two different messaging, pieces of messaging that I've um, talked to vendors about consistently using. First and foremost, talk to them about how they are going to positively impact the experience of another potential new buyer. At any given point, anyone who is a client of your now, yours now was a non-client at some point. So they bought in, took a chance, um, and if they're still around, they're obviously having a good experience with you guys. So kind of ask them to put themselves back in the shoes of um, you know where they were two years ago, a year ago, six months ago, whatever it might be before they were a client, and address you know what were their biggest concerns, and if your product is meeting them, how you're doing that. Additionally, um, because we are offering these gift card incentives, it's a pretty easy way to get people excited. Um, you know, they can earn 10 to $20 simply for four minutes of their time, which we think is very fair and a lot of buyers really do appreciate, our uh, clients I should say. Let's see. We're in Capterra. How do we get active list listings and get app and software rights as well? Uh, great question. So within Capterra, you actually can request a get app listing for a product. If you go to the listings tab within the vendor portal, and then hit edit listing for your product. On the left hand side will be a bunch of tabs on the very bottom, it'll say get app listing. And then once you click that, there will be a button that says request get app listing. Um, in 
the spirit of full transparency, we are migrating a lot of those over to the Capterra backend. Um, so there is a bit of a backlog, but we um, try to get to those as quickly as possible, but there's no definitive timeline as to when that new free profile will be created. When it comes to software advice, you actually can go to softwareadvice.com backslash vendors, and there is an opportunity for you to request a new free profile there as well. Once you have profiles in all three sites, we will sync them up, so reviews will share across all of them. When a review is left on one of the sites, for example, from a leaves review on Capterra, um, it takes about 48 business hours for a review at most to sync over to your new GetApp profile, for example. How often should we do campaigns? Um, so when it comes to review recruitment, uh, if you're talking about RAS campaigns for new clients, um, you can upload those at any time that you want to. I ask um, that you try to wait until you've had a critical mass of users before you upload a list. Um, ideally, I would love for you to have 50 or more users um, before you provide a list just so we can make sure we get you a good result. Um, but if you don't have that many clients or whatnot, just get to a point where you feel like you've got a pretty good amount of people um, when it comes to the campaign. There is no limit to the number of campaigns that you can run. So if you want to do another, you know, list of 30 days down the road of other new users, we can do that. When it comes to users that you've uploaded into a campaign, if you want to try reaching back out to them, we do um, ask that you wait at least 90 days. Uh, we are spam compliant, uh, can spam compliant, I should say. And we want to make sure that uh, there's no user experience issues. People don't feel like we're spamming them in any way, shape, or form. So um, new users, again, upload them as often as you want to. Uh, if it comes to recontacting old ones, again, we'll try to we do maintain that 90-day uh, minimum, and then we can uh, try it again after that. Uh, and the last one here that I'll get to is uh, what's the best way to handle a negative review? Um, I would say with, a, <laughs> with uh, a lot of candor and a lot of appreciation for that person taking the time to leave that feedback. I know that's a counterintuitive response probably to a lot of you out there, um, but you shouldn't be combative you should be appreciative that there's someone out there who is taking the time to let you know, hey, there's an issue here, whatever it might be. Um, even if it's just confusion on their part, um, the fact that they're feeling it, there's a good chance someone else is as well. Um, and as much as we all wish, you know, it could be nothing but five stars, for a lot of vendors I've worked with, you know, the one or two star reviews they've gotten have been the most helpful because it's highlighted something they need to fix, whether it's an aspect of the customer support process, uh, functionality or feature of their software, even the way they're communicating, you know, the functionality features of their software, if it was something that already existed, but the user didn't know it. Um, so really, you know, embrace those negative reviews. Respond to them, address them, you know, talk to that person outside of the public forum uh, via email or on the phone, and win them back. You know, use it as an opportunity to make your product better. Um, I know we always think we're at the very best um, that we can be, but there's always room for improvement. Um, and just leverage it as an opportunity, if nothing else. So I think there's really a lot that you can do with a negative review, um, just as you can with a positive one. And I think that's it. So I will give you guys seven minutes back in your day. Thank you so much for attending this webinar. We really do appreciate. We'll have another one um, coming up next quarter. Um, for next steps here, uh, we'll be sending out this recording in the uh, coming week. And if you have any questions, again, please contact your client success representative if you are a client of Cartner Digital Markets. Or if you'd like to just chat reviews, if you're a basic listing, rpm at capterra.com is the address for you. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great one. Bye-bye.